Do you want to be a complete man? Know what the word of God is. It's the decreed word. You must know that. It's an instructive word. It needs you. It's a prophetic word. It needs you. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen, everything that God has said, he raised up men and women of prayer. Am I talking to someone? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are on number what? Number three. Okay. This one I talked about it last week. The other definition of the word of God is who? Jesus Christ. He is the word. You see, that's where you should be excited. You know, uh, what was the prophet? When I was looking at this, I said, Jesus, so you allow me to speak you. I can release you as the sword because the Bible said the word of God is like what? Double-edged sword. So who is the sword? Jesus Christ. So Jesus, uh, if you allow me to speak you, who is failing in manifestation? The answer is the unregenerated spirit cannot manifest Jesus Christ. Second Corinthians 5.17 If anyone is in Christ, you say what? It's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become what? New. Now the question is, what about the regenerated spirit? The one who has received Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. What do they do? Without faith, it's impossible to please him. So you can be, that there are two types of failures for those who are releasing Jesus as the word of God. Who are speaking, say, in the beginning was the word. What makes you fail, if you're not born again, you have no right to speak the word of God. Ask the sons of Sceva. They tried releasing Jesus Christ through their mouth. And they found a demon who knew the word. Eh? That demon said, eh, Say, Paul I know. Very well. That man has beaten me up several times. According to Pastor Dagada's edition. Jesus Christ I know. That one has defeated us on the cross. We can't even compare with him. We know him better. If he speaks, we know what will happen to us. But say, who are you? Unregenerated spirit. We don't know you. And now, we find the disciples. Say, we have tried praying for this young man. When the father brought the, the boy which was to be delivered by the disciples. They said, Jesus Christ, we tried to, 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 to deliver this man. It did not work. Just because, so, O oh, ye of what? Little faith. So, without spending time in the word, you can't grow in faith. Partner with the Holy Spirit. Without spending time in the word, you cannot grow in faith. Why? Even Jesus Christ himself, when the Holy Spirit left him, he said, Why have you forsaken me? The word cannot exist outside the presence of the Holy Spirit. The revelation of the word, who is Jesus Christ, needs a serious partnership with the Holy Spirit. Someone must surrender totally. The moment you surrender totally to the Holy Spirit, he will teach you. He will become your teacher. 
He will, re, he will start revealing things to you. The mysteries of the gospel are known only by the Holy Spirit. Is somebody being equipped tonight? Hallelujah. Is somebody being equipped tonight? When you read the Bible, after tonight, you will see this inter interchangeably. You will see this is what God has decreed. Oh, this was an instruction. Oh, this was a prophetic word. Oh, this is Jesus at work. I can see in the book of Acts, you see Jesus at work. You see the word himself at work. Not that it's not the word to work in other books. He is always been from, re, from revelation to, 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 from Genesis to revelation. It's Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Am I talking to someone? Hallelujah. So when, when, when Jesus Christ is fully embraced as the word, look at this, my friends. When you say in the name of Jesus, I speak, I declare and decree that by his stripes you are healed. The healing of that person becomes independent from you. It is Jesus and his word. Your faith is saying, Jesus, I believe you and I'm here. Last night, when we were sitting watching TV, my son was just attacked by a particular spirit. His eyes just became extremely painful. Out of nowhere, my friends. As I pray for him, I saw his spirit trying to... I don't know what was it, but it was in his eyes. I laughed. I said, Jesus, this is this, this for you. You said by his stripes. By your stripes he's healed. And that was it. It was not my case. It was the case of the word. Hallelujah. There, there are so many cases that many of you have taken ownership of those cases. They don't need you. They need the word. And once you receive the word, believe in the word, have faith in the word, knowing that the word is not just the word. When you say Jesus is the word, is the word that was crucified, is the word that hanged on the tree for you, is the word that sacrificed for you. It is that word that defeated death. When you see Jesus as the word, see the cross. Jesus in him crucified. So, I, I want you to ponder just for a minute. Can Jesus be defeated by anything? Are you victorious in everything? Be practical now in your life. When you look at your life, do you see victory in everything? Church, let's talk. Do you see victory in everything? I mean, such that God said, I have got the, I decree the word, but he also said, by the reason of you being Christ, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. That's the word of God also. So ask yourself this question. What is my relationship with the word? How am I connected to the scriptures? Because listen, whenever the Holy Spirit wants to release his power in you, he first searches for the word in you that is relevant to the situation. And he will work according to that word in you. Whether you are aware of it or not, it is the word that you have consumed in you that will, be, that, that will advance you and give you victory over what you are going through. That is how the word works. That is how the Holy Spirit works. So when the word is in you with Jesus Christ, the partnership of Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, as the earth, that was without form and void. There was no negotiations. As the earth, that was, that was without form and void. As the, as the stone, the rock that, 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 that couldn't give water, there was no negotiations. As the Red Sea, that has never parted before. There was no negotiations. 
ask Lazarus who was dead. There was no negotiations. Because when the word partners with the Holy Spirit, who is Jesus Christ, there has to be results. Not ask, ask the masses who were fed. Ask the five loaves of bread and two fishes that, that, that they saw themselves as too little. And Jesus Christ said, you five loaves, you might think that you are too little. I know who I am. What I touched because I'm the word, I'm, I have partnered with the Holy Spirit. You will feed these people. I can see the fish looking back and say, ah, Jesus, I'm in household. I mean, three pieces, only three two people will, die, will, will, will be fine. When Peter began to break the bread, the loaf, the bread was never ending until everybody was fed. The power of the Holy Spirit. When you see Jesus as the word, do not discount the Holy Spirit. That's the reason why he spent three years downloading unto the disciples. Three years downloading unto the disciples. Three years downloading the word. Three years. And after they downloaded them, say, Holy Spirit, you will know them. I, they are waiting there. There might be a masses of other thousand people, but the one that you are going for, you will know them. Holy Spirit said, how will I know? You will just know. They are filled with me. They are filled with the word. They have received me. They have received my word. That's in John 17. They have received me. They have received my word. You will know them. You will see them. And Holy Spirit was able to identify them by the reason of the word in them. So there are some dead doctrines. Holy Spirit, I, I call upon you, come now. The Bible said, while Peter was still speaking the word of God to the Gentiles, to the family of the centurion, the Holy Spirit came. He did not call the Holy Spirit. While he was still speaking with them, the word, who is Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit came. The Holy Spirit doesn't wait for invitation when the word is fully embraced. You don't call upon him. He honors the word. And it became a problem to the, to the disciples. Why did the Gentiles receive the Holy Spirit? Peter said, eh, all that I know is that I gave them the word. This Jesus that you have crucified. That was his sermon. This Jesus that you have crucified. The Holy Spirit said, what? You are talking about the word? Is Jesus Christ? He looked at the, he looked at the Gentiles. He said, no, they are, not, they are not a chosen nation. They are not a chosen generation. But the way they have received the word... The way they are embracing the word. I have no choice but to manifest myself in them. Do you want to see the manifestation of the word in your life? Receive the word. Embrace the word. The word of God is not, is, 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 is not your alarm button. In case of emergency, you press no. I declare and decree, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Whereas you are a weapon yourself. You are busy prospering. That is not how the word works. When the word is received, like, 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 like the barriers. Mm. Can you go to X, to X 17, verse 10? You see, some of you here, whatever that you think is a problem in your life, is waiting for the Holy Spirit to reveal the solution to you. And no one will come and give you that solution. Only your partnership with the Holy Spirit will give you that, 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 that solution. Now, you told someone, Acts 17 verse 10 to 11. You are a mighty warrior. 
No, uh, I've been instructed by the boss. Uh, let's go to X10. Let's go to X1034. Thirty-four to forty-four. Uh, that's the boss talking now. X ten. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, "In truth, I perceive God shows no partiality, but in every nation, whoever fears Him and works righteousness is accepted by Him." The word, the word which God sent to the children of Israel, preaching peace through Jesus Christ, He is Lord of all. That word you know, which was proclaimed throughout all Judea and beginning from, and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good, healing all those who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. And we are witnesses of all things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem whom they killed by hanging on the tree. Him God raised up on the third day, showed him openly, not all the people but witnesses chosen before by God even to us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach to the people, to testify that is he who was ordained by God to be judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets witnesses through his name. Whoever, belie whoever believes in him will receive remission of sins. 44. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who heard the word. While Peter was still speaking those words, the Holy Spirit fell upon those who heard the word. The, you know, they did not just hear the word. The English word is limited, is limited this word. It's those who heard and embraced the word and believed it to be true. So you can't be in church and be hearing the word of God only Sunday in, Sunday out. They should be, we should be able to see the full manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Every time you come out of the church, you should come out a different person. You should come out power filled, spirit filled, manifesting the powers of the Holy Spirit in everything that you do. That is when you have embraced the word. That's what Peter did. He preached Jesus Christ, who is the word. Jesus and him crucified. And the Bible said, and the Holy Spirit. And, and those of circumcision were, were surprised that the Holy Spirit fell upon the Gentiles. Why? Because even though the Gentiles were not chosen, they embraced the chosen one, Jesus Christ, who is the word. Am I talking to someone? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The written word of God. Number five. The word as the written word of God. The word as the written word of God. This is where now you should excel. This is where now your engine is. This is where now your power is. This word, the moment it is written, God is saying, I'm giving it to you. Meditate upon it day and night. Let this word become real for you. Let this word become real to your spirit man. Let your regenerated spirit be fed by this word as it is a written word. It is meant to be food for your spirit. Meaning God is saying, I'm giving you access to me 24-7. Meditate upon me. Relate with me. Know me better. Who am I? And, and I love X, X17. 
Acts 17 verse 10, the Bereans. Acts 17 verse 10. Let, let us go Acts 17 verse 10. You, 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 you'll see something. We're about to close now. Lord, you were fit to be praised. Lord, you were fit to be praised. Lord, you're worthy to be praised. You deserve the best. Lord, you're worthy. You're worthy. Lord, you're worthy, Lord. You're worthy. Lord, Lord, you are worthy. Fit to be praised. You deserve the best. Let us talk about the written word of God. The best example that I can give you is about the Bereans. He said, Then the brethren immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea. When they arrived, they went to the synagogue of Jews. If 11. These were more fair fair minded. You see, the Bereans in Berea, they were more fair minded than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word of God with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. Do you want to make the word ready to work in your life? Be re- receive the word with all readiness. And they search the scriptures daily. Daily. Why? Why are they? Why? I mean, we have the book of Thessalonians. Thessalonians. But he's saying the Bereans, even though they don't have a book, they were fair minded than those in Thessalonica. Why? They, after receiving the word, they went home. Say, Paul has taught us the word. It's our time to check if this word is true. So they had qualities. I'm going to share with you three qualities of of reading the word of God. If you want to grow in the word, you must have these three qualities that the Bereans had. Hallelujah. Eagerness. They were eager to hear the word of God. You know, you see there are people who come to church as a hobby. Now I'm, I'm, I'm going to church, you see. I'm going to church, I'm going to sit there and then, you know, I'm going, and, and your spirit man is saying, your eagerness make me eat. Your eagerness strengthen me. Your thirst strengthen me. Don't just, don't, don't just take the word of God casually. There must be that eagerness. Imagine if the whole church was like that. I'm telling you, buffoons, buffoons will be flooded with calls. Hey, Pastor Matlala, I'm trying to get hold of Pastor, Pastor Daddy. I, I can't get hold of him. I'm searching the scriptures. This, I need understanding on this one. And while others were trying to get hold of me, I'm busy with others. Explaining the scriptures. No, no, I'm busy, please. To talk, talk to Prophet Musa, talk to Pastor Chris. You know, people are eager to know the word of God. What is it that this word is saying? Like, 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 like the Enoch from Ethiopia. When God said to, 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 to Philip, go to that man. He said something. He's eager to understand. You see, the Enoch from, 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 Enoch from the minister of finance from Ethiopia was, was with what eager to know. Such that he provoked the Holy Spirit to send someone to him. Eagerness. He provoked the Holy Spirit to send someone to him. And he, Philip was sent to him. He said, what are you reading? Who are they? He, he, he was reading the, the, the book of Isaiah. 
He said, Whom are, and, he said, and the, the minister said, whom are they talking about? And Philip said, they are talking about Jesus Christ. The son of God is the one who was, who was crucified. He's the one that was talking about. He said, no, no, I see the water. They baptized me. The eager, he was eager. He even got the baptism. And when eagerness means eagerness, ha, Philip was eager to be sent. He went there. And the, the, the Ethiopian you know, was eager to know. After the, when eagerness meet eagerness, there is the message of the Holy Spirit. Philip disappeared and went to others who were, who were eager in Azotus. He was, he was found preaching the word of God, the word of the, of the, of the God there. So you, when you cannot read the word of God without being eager to know. That's number one quality. Let us leave this you just casual with the word. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down where? In green what? Pastures. He laid me beside the still waters. Eh? Stop in verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. Hmm? Shepherd. Shepherd. Is he the one leading me? Is he the one shepherding my soul? Can I really, really attest that the Lord is my shepherd? Hmm. What area of my life is he shepherding? Hmm. No, man. If the Lord is my shepherd, why am I going through this? No, no. God cannot, cannot lead me through this. It is written, he lead me besides the still waters. Hmm? No, this, this doesn't look still. This looks violent to me. These are like storms. No, God, I'm stopping here. Lord, if I've taken my own decision in my life, forgive me. Shepherd me to where you want me to be. You, before you can even go, the first verse, half a verse has questioned you. Before you can even go any further, the first half a verse has questioned you. The Lord is my shepherd. You look at your life. God, no. My, my account doesn't reflect you, God. Mm -mm. What have I done? Does this, does this have to do with my giving? Um, are you shepherding me in the area of my finances? Are you shepherding me in the area of prayer? Do I wake up and pray? But the Lord is my shepherd. You see, they received the word with all readiness and searched. You cannot search the scripture without the scripture searching you. It's not possible. When you search the scripture, the scripture will search you and it will expose to you the things that God wants to see change. Not the written word of God. Number two, examine the word daily. They looked at the scriptures thoroughly. The word, the Lord is my shepherd. I'm going there. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Father, mm -mm, mm -mm. My, my soul doesn't feel restored. My soul, is, no, I'm troubled in my spirit. And the Bible said, because you are my shepherd, my soul should have peace. I don't feel the restoration. God, I'm stopping here. Deal with my soul. What's happening? Where have I missed you? You search the scripture. You search the scripture. And you come back with an answer. Lord, now I know. I know, Lord, I'm fasting. This will require me to fast. I need to hear you more. That's the life of a person 
with the relationship with the written word of God. You have examined the scripture and the scripture examined you. Hallelujah. The scripture, when you examine the scripture, it will examine you. That's how it works. It searches. It searches. It's Hebrews 4.12. It searches. Can you go to Hebrews 4.12? The word of God says, the word of God will examine you. And the word of God always come back with results. With the requirement for change. And if you don't change, you'll continue failing the test. And you call, you'll, you'll, you'll start calling that test what? A challenge. Hebrews 4.12. Can you go to Hebrews 4.12? You want to go to the last one? Okay. I think our media Bible is not that fast. For the word of God is what? Is living and what? Powerful. Sharper what? Than two edges sword. Piercing what? To the divisions of what? Soul and what? And, and, and what? And speed. And joints and what? And more. And it's what? It's the discerner of the intents of the heart. That's the word of God. It will search you. It will discern your intents. Why are you saying the Lord is my shepherd? Where do you stand with God? Who are you with God? The Bible said when Adam hear God coming, he hid himself. Why? The word searched himself. Searched him and he found that he doesn't deserve to be in the presence. And it, it, because it, Ed, Eden was not taught about grace and confession. If you knew, you would run to God and say, God, I've sinned against you. I've eaten the forbidden fruit. Please forgive me. The, after the word of God sets you, it's either need, to, it, or it leads to two things, repentance or praise. When the word of God searches you, it will lead to what? Repentance or what? Praise. My tweet, my tweet someone tonight. Hallelujah. The third one, the last one. The word of God will make you pursue the truth. In pursuit of the truth. That's the written word of God. When something is not making sense to your spirit, man, only the truth is in the word. What? The fact is, let me tell you what, I always say this, the fact might be you've got pain in your body. Amen? The truth is, by his stripes you are healed. So, that's the truth that we are talking about. The truth that overrides the fact. The fact, let the weak say what? I'm strong. Let the poor say what? I'm rich. That's the truth. That in pursuit of the word of God, I'm refusing to acknowledge the fact. I'm going after the truth. That's the written word of God. It gives you that truth. It gives you the ability to pursue the truth. Family, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Amen. I pray so much so that even my tablet that is, is, is frozen, doesn't want to move anymore. Hmm? Yo, uh, I won't finish these notes tonight. I won't finish these notes tonight. But this one, what am I going to tell you? I just want to give you a guide unto the word of God. As you study the word of God in pursuit of the truth, you need to know these five truths. Remember, we spoke about faith on Sunday. We shared that the reason why the book of Hebrews was written was because the Jews were being persecuted for believing in Christ than Moses. Amen? So, Paul, or the writer of the book of Hebrews, because there is contention, whether it's Paul or somebody else, has to tell them that even Moses had faith in Christ. 
So we, we, we begin to download. That, was, that, is, that, that is the content behind the book of Hebrews. It was written for the Jews. To, Paul was, was trying to link the history of the Torah with Christ. And he did it very well. It worked. They realized that no faith is, 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 is on the cross. So now the written word also has a content behind content that you must understand. Number one, the book of Matthew. teaches us that obedience to the word of God leads to a solid foundation. How can you call me Lord, Lord, and you don't do what I tell you to do? So obedience leads to what? To, to solid foundation. I believe that I should leave it here. I'm not given permission to continue. It will be too much for them. For this. It's not for the day. Let's stand up. I'll teach you. Don't worry, you'll know. You'll know this. By the time we're done with this, you will be the scholars of the word. Hallelujah. So today what we've been teaching you, the practical side of the word. Who are you and the word? Can you lift up your hands? Lift up your hands. Ask God, ask God for the grace. For everything that you have learned tonight. Ask God for the grace. The barren grace. The Bible said they were eager. They examined the, the word daily. They pursued the truth. They checked the scripture themselves. Pray. They were eager. They searched the scriptures themselves. Ask for that grace. That father, I don't want to have a casual relationship with the word of God. Because I'm making this word to be of no effect in my life. I don't want to have a casual relationship with the word of God anymore. Because I'm making this word to be of no effect in my life. I want this word to come back with results in my life. I want this word to come back with results. I will embrace the word of God. Zita karabosi Sani mba karabosi Zetiko sori bakeshiatam Mbasande ko zita bekesiam Zati ko sori bekesiatam Mbesinda kaziate Riko zoti bekesiatam Somebody pray, somebody pray Somebody pray Somebody pray, somebody pray Ask for this grace, ask for this grace Ask for this grace It's only in the word of God that That's where you find your victory that's where your life is. That's where your promotion is. That's where your healing is. That's where your provision is. Is your healing is in the word of God. Your life is in the word of God. Rikopo zotibakasiate. Shani kaparioka. Ask for the grace. Ask for the brilliant grace. Somebody cried for this grace. Ask for this grace. My relationship with the word must improve. Ask for the grace. Zatika Pasiata. Your miracle is in the word of God. Your advancement is in the word of God. Your enlargement is in the word of God. Your increase is in the word of God. We search the scriptures. We go for the word. We search the scriptures. Mbasita kozyota rikapesi. 
we search the scriptures. We are the children of the word. We are diligent with the word. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody live. This is the best prayer that you can ever make in your life. Advancement in the word of God. That's where everything is. That's where your business is. That's where your promotion is. That's where your finances are. We're in the obedience of the word of God. Rikapozo tibekezi atam, seteros vatikam, marikos yotam. As the dear Baptist for the water brooks, as the dear Baptist for the water brooks, so bless my soul for you, O Lord. As the dear Baptist for the water brooks, so bless my soul for you, O God. I need you, Lord Jesus. But somebody's praying. I need you, Lord Jesus. I need this word. I need this word. I need this word. I need this word. Cry out unto the Lord. He's the God who answers prayers. He's the God who hears us when we cry to him. Somebody cry unto the Lord. Send a case zita rikosha tap. Serai kapasi atem. Shandi kopozitam. Rika pozo tikapeziatam. Shandi kapozon. Zari keza. Somebody's crying out. Somebody's crying out. That is the best miracle. The manifestation of the word of God in you. The manifestation of the word of God in you. Everything you need. Cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Is it healing? The word of God. Is it, is it your job? The word of God. Is it promotion? The word of God. Is it increase? The word of God. The church is praying. The church is praying. The church is praying. We are not asking for anything. We are not asking for cars. We are not asking for houses. We are not asking. We are asking for the source of the cars, for the source of the houses, for the source of promotion, which is the word of God. Rika pozo, shati kapasya, besandi koziota, rika pozo tika pesiata, shandi kapaziata. Recomposum, Zari Kesi Tabako Shotten. Somebody's praying, somebody's praying. Sandy Kozo Tibekazam, Zate Raysam, Shande Kozotam, Ripa Zatam, Makasiatam, Rikozo Tibetan, Sandy Kapazat. Somebody pray. Let this word, let this word dwell in me richly. Let this word dwell in me richly. Sandy Kapariokan, Zate Bokosan, Zate Kapozan, Zari Kapasiatem, Shandy Kozan, Zate Ray Zati Kam, Zate Roshan, cry out for the word. Repose Zoti Bekesiatam, Basande Keziati Bakosiotam, Sari Bekosiotam, Shati Kam. Masiande, recapose your tongue. Zati kosum, share capacity. Somebody's praying. Somebody's praying. Somebody's praying. Cry out! Cry out for the word. Cry out for the word. Tell him. Only the word of God carries healing power. Only the word of God carries restorative power. Only the word of God carries enlargement power. Only the word of God. There is deliverance power. Only the word, only the word. Every miracle that you can ever think of is in the word. We preach nothing but Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Zita ko si yari makushiotan. Zati ro sandi king. Rakape zita ko si otan. Shandi ko zoti kapasiat, rapo zoti kapan, seta reisam. Shandi ko zotam, rakapo zoti kam, seta ko zotam. Cry out to 
the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Lord, Lord, by your mercies and grace, improve my relationship with my Bible. Improve my relationship with the Word. By your mercies and grace, improve my relationship with the Word. By your mercies and grace, somebody talk to him. Zitakosha Mbasiande Kosa Zatika Siyata